we provide um, first and foremost confidential um, free victim advocacy work meaning that if you ever decide to either leave or you're thinking about leaving or you're not sure if you're in a violent relationship or something bad has happened to you you can contact our hotline and we're available 24 hours a day uh, seven days a week by a trained advocate. It's free, it's confidential, and we, um, our advocacy work, is, as I said, is cross-jurisdictional. So we can work in La Plata County or the 6th Judicial District, which is San Juan County up in Silverton, Archuleta County, which is Pagosa Springs, La Plata, which is Durango, Ignacio, Bayfield, Ellison, Arbeles, and Mancus, and then the two uh, tribes in Colorado, Southern Ute and Ute Mountain Ute. We provide um, transportation if you need to go to courts, um, if you need to go to the safe shelter, if you need to go into a different state, um, just so you don't have to go through the process by yourself. We become your brain and like the body for you while you're going through the emotional status. When I first was interviewed and talked with the director, Diane Millich, I, uh, the statistics that she told me just were over the top. It was just amazing to me that that is happening and I was not aware of it. And once I knew that, I knew that I could just not ignore the fact that, you know, there's hopefully something that I can do to help the communities and um, just help with the, the outrageous numbers that there are of domestic violence, sexual assault. As mothers, as women, we have to take care of our people. So when I look back at my great-grandma who had a lot of kids, and for them to survive and to go through this, then I always say I have the blood of these strong women, and as a, as a Native woman myself, that I can continue to be strong, even though I feel like giving up a lot of times. And... Um, the stress and everything that we have, we, I just continue to think back, is this what they would do? And probably not. Um, they wouldn't. Otherwise, I don't think we'd be where we are today as, as Native Americans. I guess as a person who's a survivor, um, the coalition is kind of what helped me strengthen myself in a lot of different ways. Well, um, I guess the thing that I never realized when I was going through what I went through was that I always felt that I was alone. So to let others know, you know, you're not alone and there's always someone out there to help you through those things. I believe in our Sisters Keeper. I believe that we are serving underserved populations and I think that there's a big lack in this community that work with people of color, people with different cultures, and I'm hoping that we're able to close that gap and to make a difference for the people that are underserved and don't speak out. So when you look back at our name, Our Sisters Keeper, we say we are sisters um, on this earth and our job was we're like the keepers of the family. We were the keepers of our children. We're the keepers of our home. And we're the keepers of our, of our world. And I think we have to be the keepers of each other as sisters. And um, the safety, the wellness, the healing um, makes us to be the sisters that we're meant to be. And that's um, free. I wasn't always on top, I hit rock bottom and below Yeah, the victim, it keeps me down below
soul so I rise again another day to live the child within let go of the sedative that numb the pain of a broken home grew up found out I wasn't alone other females had issues like me living in a body of suicidal tendency hate and jealousy brought out the worst in me got to the point lost identity she's so lost that's what they said so lost I didn't feel the chains holding me 50 years in mental slavery every day crumbling internally but